Hey y'all, so I know the days are kind of just like going by. <laughs> Today is Thursday. Why? This must be oil. Anyways, I'm getting ready for work. I haven't been to work in almost three weeks. Yeah, I think about three weeks. Um, <laughs> so I've done my makeup. You can't really tell. I don't really do like I do makeup, but you, not like crazy drastic makeup. Plus, it's only Thursday, so this is drastic for me. Um, I don't have any lashes, so I feel naked without lashes nowadays. That's how you know you're like addicted to lashes. But anyways, I am as you see, getting ready. I'm almost done. I just gotta do my hair. And then kind of check my bag to see what all I got in there. And maybe pack some, repack it or whatever. I've been watching videos about OR nursing. Because y'all know I have the interview coming up on Monday. Another one. And then I have the offer from one of the hospitals for it. So I'm watching more YouTube videos about it. Just so I can see like different perspectives at different hospitals. Because it does vary. Some hospitals I'm seeing have it where their nurses scrub and circulate, but my hospital would only have me circulate. And they use OR assistants to scrub in. And nurses don't have to. Um, I think it would be cool to scrub though. I wouldn't mind doing that. I have a new wig on the way. Also I have some, um, I ordered like this lash kit from Amazon. I'm trying to do my own lashes like individual, well, I guess they're clusters, stay in clusters, whatever you call them. So I'm gonna look at some videos, I'm gonna figure this out. My guys, I'm tired of strip, but I don't wanna pay, I don't wanna pay for somebody to do my lashes. That's just an expensive habit I don't wanna get hit on. So we're going to try and do them ourselves. And if I end up blind, y'all know why. <laughs> No, but it's gonna be fine. I mean, it can't be too bad. I ordered um, the little tweezer things, the little application applicators. I ordered the lashes, the bond and seal, and I ordered. Did I order? I don't think I ordered a remover. I think that might be all I ordered. I ordered a wig from Shein. A wig from Shein, child. We gonna see how this go. <laughs> Y'all, don't ask me what I was thinking when I ordered it. Comment down below if you've ordered away from Shein before. <laughs> I'm still shook that I ordered that. Ooh, y'all pray for that wig. This is what they're getting. Hopefully there's gonna be somebody there who loves black girls with natural hair. Where are people at? I need them to come back. Very sweet. Oh my god, y'all. One of my videos I had, when I had like a good little thousand dollar night. It's because this guy came and he was with two other ladies. And he just loved black women natural hair. And he was just tipping me 20, 20, 20s. Like, tipping me like 120, 140 on stage at a time. Plus getting dances and then tipping like at least extra 50, 60 dollars on top of that. Where he at? Lord, please bring him back <laughs> or somebody like him because he wasn't nasty he wasn't disrespectful he wasn't rude he was chill he was having a good time i was having a good time i didn't have to um, we weren't even drinking like we were just you know vibing all having a good time like period you know that's the type of customers i like we don't have to do too much like you're not too gross you're just chilling having a good time and spending you know a good amount of money period we're going to bring him back. Bring him back. Packing. I'm going to try to poop real quick and then walk Benji and I'll be on my way. Okay, y'all. I've only done one dance. There's not much going on. People are kind of BSing. So. I got some for 12. We still got two hours. And this is kind of a late night club. Like, most of your money can be made in the last hour. So, I'm going to just stick it out and see what happens. Glasses on because I can't see. 
Well, I want to attempt to do some lashes. Okay. I'm not going to record it because I need to focus and watch YouTube and TikTok videos while I do it. But I got these um, Deluxe by INV Lashes. I got the two pack. This one is the Demi Extended. And I got the clusters, obviously. And this one is the 3D Extended. So you see the 3D Extended is more fuller than the Demi. Um, I don't know how I'm about to do this. I'm about to just wing it, I guess. I got the little lash applicator. And I also got, I mean, why I come like this though? <laughs> but I ordered this bond and seal from QL. <clears throat> I was going to get their lashes, but I decided not to. So yeah, the bond and seal little mascara thing. Just so maybe it can make the process a little bit easier for me to put it on. But I'm kind of mad that like, why is this part? Like that's from where, and I got it like this, y'all. I just got it from where this box was kind of opened up. Let me make sure this um okay. That's still fine. Anyways, I'm gonna get started because it's almost 7 30. And obviously I'm not gonna make it before nine. <laughs> um and I forgot to say it is Friday night. Um I usually don't go to work on Friday nights. I don't like it because it always is shitty. I have a, a friend in my nursing school program, and she be doing her lashes, and they be looking cute. And I was like, she can do it. I can do it, you know? Like, I can do anything. I can learn how to be a nurse. I can learn how to put lashes on, you know? So, I got the clusters. But she be doing, like, little fans. I got the clusters because those looked a little easier for me. I like you only put, like, five clusters on your lash. Like five max is what people are doing and for me my eyes are extra small like my contact sizes for my eyes i see certain contacts i can't get because they don't have my eye size so i may not even need that many but i guess we'll see okay y'all so i'm not going to work anymore <laughs> i'm going out <laughs> but this is the almost final look let me come closer what we're looking like for tonight don't know where i'm going probably some like new club or something that just opened up but not a strip club just like a regular club hey y'all i'm not worried it's the hair it's kind of big right now but it's fine and maybe i'll show y'all where i go i don't know we'll see y'all so i ended up going to my club as a customer and all the black girls i left except for like one or two who i really don't fuck with so i spent no money really i spent like a few dollars on some of the hispanic girls but like all my money would have went to the black girls hey y'all it is wednesday and i know you're like wow you got all this energy like what's going on I got good news and it sees my bonnet you know whatever i'm at home but i have great news i got some good news yesterday um on the way home from clinical well for one i got a clinical hours early yesterday that's amazing <laughs> for two on my way home y'all on my way home on my way home i got a call actually <laughs> At 12, I got a call, but I was in clinical, right? I didn't go to lunch until like 12.30, almost one o'clock, actually closer to one o'clock. And I got a voicemail from a recruiter at, a, at the competitor hospital system um, saying that they had some uh, update about like the status of my interview and they wanted me to call them back to discuss it. Then I got an email about said, status so i emailed and called them back um they didn't answer i left a voicemail whatever whatever tell the recruiter that i was going to be in clinical till 6 30 and that i'd be free today and they're like okay just give me a call i'll go to work at eight sorry y'all i had a call from one of my friends because i'm trying to negotiate the sign-on bonus 
I'll tell you all about that in a minute. But anyways, so yeah, I ended up getting out of clinical at like three something, four something because we had some cancer survivors come and talk to us about ovarian cancer and stuff. And we didn't have to go back to the floor after that. So that was great. Um, so then I emailed the recruiter and was like, hey, I got out of clinical early. Um, just wanted to know if you still had time to talk. This is like four o'clock. She calls me at like 4.50 something. I'm already in the car on my way home. And five o'clock traffic, it's crazy. It's very like standstill. It took me, she probably 10, 15 minutes just to get out the freaking parking lot <laughs> of the hospital. Anyway, so she calls me, right? She's like, hey, this is such and such I'm calling um, from such and such hospital. I just wanna let you know that you, I want to offer you a position for this hospital and this unit. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, oh wow, thank you so much. And I was like, um, I'm sorry, where where was the position at again? I couldn't hear you because it kind of broke up a little bit. And so she said, yeah, I, was, um, I figured you couldn't hear me, but it's um, the position is for the NICU. And I was like, oh my God, the NICU? Are you serious? And she was like, yeah, I figured you couldn't hear me. You didn't sound that excited. I was like, oh my God. No, I'm really excited. Thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm so grateful. I was like, oh my God, I'm about to cry. You know, get it together. Oh, wow, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Da -da -da. Like, I was so excited on the phone. She could tell. We were both laughing. Y'all didn't hear that she said NICU. <laughs> so, girls finally been offered a position in the NICU. Y'all know I've been offered a position on the cardiac floor. I've been offered a position in the OR. And I still got to give them, like, my final decision. But I just want to confirm and solidify this position before I, you know, decline the other two. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Okay, so. The good thing about being in the NIC in this residency program is so you get up to four rotations in their residency program, specifically for the NICU. The first two rotations will be in the NICU. The last two rotations can be anywhere else. So I'm going to go to Women's Services for my last two rotations, and that way I can experience labor and delivery. So the whole residency program at this hospital is 12 months. Um, the one at the hospital through my school is nine, is like six to nine months. I can't remember. Just depending on the program. So I'll be in this one for 12 months for a year. And I'm excited. Oh my God. It's like, um, I haven't accepted yet because y'all. Okay. I get it. I, there's going to be give and takes with all jobs. Um, so I've just been comparing everything, making mental notes. So this, the base salary is kind of comparable to like what I would receive at the hospital through my school. So the OR position that I got offered, the base salary is pretty much the same as well as like the shift differential. They're pretty much the same. The sign on bonus though is different for the NICU. This is the lowest sign on bonus that I've been offered. Um, I was offered a, like a $5,000 sign-on bonus with no contract, which I guess the no contract part is good, but y'all, I have to pay. I did the, did the loan forgiveness through my hospital, and so that was $5,000. I'm going to have to pay that back, even though technically I've only received $4,000 so far. But I'm going to have to pay that back, right? If I'm only being offered a $5,000 sign-on bonus, I'm pretty much not getting any sign up. I'm going to use that to just, you know, or, you know, like strip of money to pay that back. So it's like, that's not really even a benefit anymore for me. And then on top of that, the OR, they were offering a 9,600 sign on bonus. So that's almost $10,000. That's 4,600 more than the NICU. And right, I get it. It's a prestigious, you know, position. I get it. But also I'm going to be in this residency for a year long. Like, I know I can learn whatever I need to learn. I get it. And it's more work than what the OR is going to be. OR, of course, they're, like, they're training. 
And actually for that whole hospital system, I think general like sign on bonus for new grad nurses is not 9,600. Like standard, I think across the board is gonna be 9,600. Um, and that's regardless if you have your BSN or your RN. I think this hospital, they're kind of like basing it off of which one. But either way, I won't. So I'm going to ask for 10,000. <laughs> like I'm gonna ask for 10,000 see what they give me um the hospital that i got offered the cardiac floors position they were offering a 7500 sign on bonus but their base pay and then the weekend pay option was significantly higher than any of these other positions but that's not what i want to do um if it was about money i would take that i would take in that position but i'm not it's about what i want to do and what's going to be more beneficial for me in the long term and that's going to be taking this NICU job because I want to eventually be a women's health nurse practitioner. I'm getting ICU experience with the NICU. So it's intense critical care experience, learning how to critically think, getting all this like I'm not losing any nursing skills like I would in the OR. Um, I get to experience labor and delivery, delivering babies, maybe some gynecological issues, um, which is what I really want to experience too. But, you know, I'm getting more experience related to what I want to do long term. So, I want $10,000. That's what I'm going to say. I have drafted up the email. I sent it to a friend. I told them, like, tell me what edits I should make. I sent it to my mom. I told her to tell me what edits I should make. He called me and he said I should, you know, mention maybe about the loan forgiveness that I have to pay back since I'm not signing, since I won't be taking the position with them. I don't know if that's gonna matter, but shoot, I'm just gonna include it. I don't care. <laughs> like I included how excited I am about the position, how grateful I am to be rec and how honored I am to be recognized for it. Um, you know, being passionate about care, and then I also mentioned like you know what I was hoping for as far as the sign on bonus, and then also how this hospital prides itself on being um and how it off. It prides itself on offering competitive benefits. And so I was basically saying like, well, the other hospital systems have offered me, you know, hires. So I figured I could ask for this so that, you know, the sign-on bonus is comparable to the other offers that I've received, essentially. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, I hope it's not coming off as rude because I try to be very respectful in my tone. Um, and, you know, all she can say is no, and if that's the case, I'm still going to take it, but <laughs> I'm still going to take it because I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid more base-wise than I would at my old job, at my old full-time job, and more base-wise than stripping, you know, and this is what I want to do. So, I would still take it if she says no. But I'm just hoping she says yes or even negotiates to like 7500 so that I can have some kind of additional money after I pay back that loan. So, yeah, I just wanted to update y'all. I'm going to let y'all know what they say as far as the sign-on bonus. But I need to hurry up and send this email and get started studying and doing my hair because I got to put on this little sheen wig and do all this stuff to it so, so I can go work tonight and all this other stuff. So, I will come back later and let y'all know what happens with this whole situation.